Hey guys, welcome back. So this is day 11, memory forensics. So not all the gifts are nice. Let's see what's not nice about this. So I already read through all this, <clears throat> excuse me. And just to get right to the point, we'll talk about what is memory forensics. And if you wanna get into memory uh, forensics in general, this is an important task to know and to learn. It's just pretty much you learn how to read uh, like the read access, uh, the random access memory. So the RAM in your computer, RAM is not only like, oh, I need all this memory to run your applications and stuff like that. Uh, if you're in a investigation case, you definitely can utilize that memory uh, to your advantage, right? So, so I guess we can see here, you know, Miss um, Elf McSkitty, Tashu, Elf Mc. Uh, Make blue to investigate the workstation. Running down to the, the workshop floor, you can see a command prompt running some code. Oh no, this is not good. So pretty much it looks like maybe this machine got infected with some malware and stuff like that. So returning to the security operations center, so Santa's security operations center, uh, so to further investigate this and to analyze what's happening, right? So you plug in a USB into the uh, Workstation, start your forensics or your investigation. All right, so as you see here, you can see your, you know, your memory and your task. If you go to task manager, you can do control delete on a Windows machine and go to your task manager. Or you can just right click on the task bar and get, get to it like that. So this is different categories, descriptions and examples. You have user processor or user process, and then you have background process, right? So now you have voluntary. So Voluntary is an open source memory forensics toolkit written in Python. So I'm assuming this is what we're going to be utilizing in this video. So let's get right to the chase. So python3.vol.py. So this is going to be the tool right here. So if we can just take this, right click, and just throw it right in here. Let me see if I can paste that. I don't know if I can paste it. Uh, can I? No. Okay. No sweat. Let's do python3. Vol. So first of all, we have to, where are we? All right, so let's CD to Val. All right, we, so let's clear this. Let's do another LS. So we have some tool, uh, some directories here. So we can see right here, val.py. Let's, we can cat that. We could probably cat that out. Whoops, dot pi. Pi, why isn't this? And you can see, okay, it's running. This is the tool, right? So it's a very, very simple tool that it's utilizing. So that's if you want to get to the nitty gritty of the Python script that's running this tool. And we're, going to, we're running this on a Windows machine, I assume. Okay, so the tool is right there, right? So if we do an ls-la, we can see all the tools and all the information running in this, in this uh, directory. So we can, everything is running Elf McBlue, blah, blah, blah. And this is a tool that we're going to be utilizing. So if we continue down the, the avenue of, um, of this day, so we have different options. We have dash F, we have dash V, dash P, and dash O. Different, different options, different tasks, right? Uh, sorry, I hope I'm not getting sick. My, my voice, like I said, I'm, I'm uh, on vacation this week, so I just hope that uh, everything continues to be good. All right, so... They're using the voluntary to analyze an image. So we have this image here, workstation.vmem. So I'm assuming this is a virtual machine that's running this, right? And then we're going to put that windows.info. So it's going to pull the information about the Windows operating system. So this is what this is going to do. So let's, I don't, let me try this again. Let me just try to copy this and see if I can paste it. No, it didn't work. I guess my, I guess what I can do, let me see if I can do this. Let me clear this out. I always forget about this. Let's see if they have this little task. I guess not. That's a bummer. Whatever. Let's just uh, do, it, do it the old school. Let's just do the Python. Python 3, val.py, okay, dash F. And then we'll do workstation, if I can spell. 
workstation.vm or vmem, okay? And then windows.info, okay? Let's run that, see what's, uh, what cooks over there. And we can continue. So these are different options, even different plugins, I mean. So like we just used Windows Info. We have PS list, which can look uh, list the processes. PS scan. This will allow us to analyze a specific process further. We have uh, dump files. This is you know exporting that process. Netstat. We can see the connections, like if you're doing a regular Netstat in your computer, and so on and so forth. So showing this plugin in use. So this is going to you know using this tool that we just um, that we just ran right the Val tool. This is going to go ahead and run the PS list, pretty much the processes. Okay, so and then we're going to do PS scan, look at the the uh, processes uh, scanning, and then we can dump the files and so on and so forth. So let's see the questions here. So I'm not sure how long oh, it's done now. Okay, cool. So let's look at the questions here. So what is the Windows version number that the memory image captured? Okay, we just ran that. So let's see here. Okay, major version 10 and operating system version 10. So I'm assuming it's Windows 10. One for one, fantastico. Okay, so what is the name of the binary gift that the secret Santa left? All right, so if we come back up, let's go ahead and clear this out, right? So if we come back up, we can run the next scan here. So we can look at the processes. Remember, we can if you forget, we can just look at the plugins and see, like we have to look at the processes, right? So let's go ahead and just hit the up arrow, right? And Windows dot PS scan. See what what this gives us. Okay, what they're doing, and sixty. I'm not sure if that's going to go to one hundred percent, and then give us the the process that are running. So let's see. All right, we'll give that a moment. Let's see what happens once we have that up. So I guess, uh, let's have to wait for a second. All right, so what I want to do is I want to actually open this up in a full screen, just so it's more real estate, okay? So let's uh, let's do that. Okay. Did I just lose everything I ran? All right. So let's just look through here, see if we can find anything weird or fishy. Uh, do, 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 do. Runner. Uh, if you get familiar with the Windows processes, you know, then you'll you'll get to know what's fishy and what's like suspicious and what's normal behavior on your machine. So let's just keep going up, see services. All right, so this seems a little weird. Mysterygift.ex, what processor 2040. So let's go back down, let's see if mystery gift, if that's the, if that's the gift. So let's go give that a jingle. Mystery gift, G-I-F-T dot E-X-E. Perfect, awesome. So what is the processor ID? It's 2040, whoops, 2040. Perfect, so I guess we only have one more. So dump the content of the binary, the, dump the context of the binary and how many files are dumped. All right, so what we can do here is clear that out. So if we go back up, we can look at uh, dump. So for example, we can just do this up arrow instead of uh, windows dot, we could do dump files dash dash PID, which is the processor ID and then 2040, okay? And then you can actually do WC. Let me see if I can do that and see if it works. No. Okay, 
for I was going to do that for the word count, but let's uh, we're going to probably pipe it, but that's fine. Let's just let's just see what we get here, and give this a moment. Okay. All right, so let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Is it 16? Did I count that correct? Perfect. Yeah, we did it. So complete this. So we are done with day 11. So that was pretty fun. So if you guys want to obviously get more involved with memory forensics, I'm sure you can. Let's go down a little bit more. If you want to learn more about Voluntary, please check out the a dedicated room here. Let's right click on that just to see what's cooking over there. And you have voluntary. All right. So if you guys want to learn more, go for it. Just uh, take that skill to that next level. But for today, this is it. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and share. And until tomorrow's next challenge, have a good one. We'll see you soon.